So this is the effects section of the Ultra Nova editor. You'll notice you've got five available effects slots here and a number of different ways that you want to route these effects depending on your preferences. So as I mentioned, when you set up Reverb 1, you can't then set up Reverb 1 in slot 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. But there are two compressors, two distortions, two delays, two reverbs and four choruses available. Also, there's a gator here. I'll show you the uh, various parameters of the gator. The edge slew, the hold which makes um, the effect a little bit more subtle or more obvious and delay here. It's best to play with these yourself just to get used to them. To turn off an effect simply click on bypass here. So I'm going to set up a compressor. So the arpeggiator section here you can switch it on with the actual hardware itself or on the actual editor itself. Adjust the arpeggiator sync and the mode. So I'm going to try up and down one. So you get the idea. I'm going to just turn this off. Now you can turn the chord effect on on the actual editor itself or on the hardware, but you can't actually set the chord or edit the chord within the software. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to click this on now. Because I'm making a monophonic patch, you won't be able to hear the chord effect at all. But um, if you press chord on, then chord edit on the keyboard, you can then program your own desired chord notes by pressing start, pressing the keys of the chord, then pressing accept on the keyboard. This will obviously not work with this patch. As I said, it's, it's a monophonic bass patch, so um, you won't be able to hear it. In the vocoder section here, simply turn that on, adjust the parameters here and the pan section here as well, quite self-explanatory. Now in the animate menu here, you can set up tweaks. To do this, uh, make sure that you've pressed tweak on the animate section of the hardware itself. Click onto uh, one of these various um, different uh, options here. So I'm gonna adjust virtual sync depth of oscillator three with knob one. So click on the knob and then move the knob itself and it'll assign. So you should be able to hear this. Again, for knob two, you can set this as you want, but I'll adjust frequency of filter two. And so on and so forth. You'll be able to see the touches that you've set up as well, but you won't be able to edit them in this part of the menu. As you can see, there are many fun and engaging effects, oscillators and envelopes to be controlled in the Ultra Nova editor. I've only just barely touched on these in this video, but you can get an idea of the depth that this can go. Another great thing about this is that if you like a certain patch that's in the librarian already, and you like a, a certain part of that patch, like a, a touch animation or a tweak animation, you can look into the Ultra Nova editor, see how this was set up, and then apply that to your own patches. And to easily save your patch, simply click on Center Librarian in the window.